Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Justy, and today we have an unboxing to do. Listen, I know I say I'm excited for a lot of unboxings, and, and I am, don't get me wrong, it's not a lie, but I am so excited for this unboxing. Oh my God. This is a dress I have been waiting for for ages. I saw it last year when I was skulking around on Baby the Star Shine Bright, Alice and the Pirates website, just creeping through what they had. And I saw this one and immediately fell in love. I, oh, it was an immediate connection between me and this digital image of the dress. <laughs> it of course was pretty expensive, it's Alice and the Pirates. And while that part was fine, I mean, I didn't love it, but it's fine. The shipping was also obscene. Things are really bad right now. And I just, I couldn't justify it at the time. But again and again and again, I went back to this dress and I looked at it and I pondered over it. And then the headdress that went with it sold out and I was really sad because I definitely wanted that. But I still held out and then eventually I just, I had to give in. I had looked at it enough that I knew I would truly love this dress if I owned it, and I would not at all regret it, even if the shipping was a little expensive, which actually in the end turned out less than the quote I had originally been given, which is nice, little perk. So I did it. I brought myself joy in this dark times. And now we're gonna unbox and take a look and try it on. Now, because this is obviously on the more expensive side and it came from the States, well, things are really gross right now, it did have like, an obscene customs amount, which I didn't love. I haven't had to pay customs at all in a very long time, let alone a customs that much. So that hurt, but I'm hoping seeing it and, and just holding it close will soothe all my pain. I'm super impressed that they fit a whole Lolita dress into this tiny little package when it was handed over to me at the post office. I was like, uh, are you sure? But it says it's in here. Oh my God. So inside of there, they have put it in one of their plastic Baby Star Shine Bright Alice and the Pirates bag. I don't remember what the last bag looked like. It's been way too long. I've got it tucked away somewhere, but I feel like um, they've changed their bag style since the last time I got one, which uh, is fine. I'm not particularly a, a big bag person. I know a lot of people collect them, especially with like Angelic Pretty. They're just bags to me. If I ever, you know, sell something on the secondhand market, which is unlikely because I'm very attached to all my things, I might put them in one of these bags as a nice little package for it, I guess. Like within a package, not just the bag. <laughs> But anyways, so it doesn't matter to me specifically what the bags look like. Ooh, the tape ripped it open anyway. So this will just be going in the garbage when I'm done. Okay, we're getting there, but we have more plastic. <laughs> Lolita, man. And now we have tissue paper. I know this is to keep it safe and it's beautiful and it's about the presentation, but I'm still impressed. First of all, all these layers were in that tiny little envelope along with the dress. And uh, it's just a lot, of, a lot of stuff. At least tissue paper isn't as bad for the environment as like the plastic wrapping. Ooh, I got a little um, sticker. Yes, sticker. That's fun. I'm gonna put that into my sticker book. I don't have an Alice in the Pirate sticker. They definitely did not give that last time I ordered, so that's really cute. Sorry, Steph, I ripped the tissue paper. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. I can see it. First up, before I even unfold anything, this is definitely a much deeper purple than I was expecting. Oh my goodness, like, don't get me wrong, I knew it was purple, that's the color I picked, but I definitely thought it would be a little more like the purples on this dress, but this is way, way deeper. It's a very dark purple. It's beautiful. Let's get her unfolded. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God. Oh. Oh my God, I am so excited. So as always with baby and Alice, do people just call it Alice? I don't know. The dress has a 
very long name. This is Star Touring Pirate Ship and the Boundary Between the Sky and the Sea. And I got it because this beautiful pirate ship on the water in front of the, uh, the moon really honestly reminded me of Peter Pan and this Peter Pan dress and I knew I had to have it in my life. Just touching it, the construction is lovely. It is so well built. I think it's a little bit thinner than the current dress I'm wearing, not in a bad way, but um, it just doesn't have quite the same feel, but that's fine. This is jumper skirt one. So we have these cute little like right on your shoulder, a mini sleeve or roughly straps. I don't know what you wanna call them, but we also have this inner strap closer to the middle of the bodice, which is cute. You get the double look, which I think if you're wearing like a plainer blouse will give this a little more interesting detail to it. So that's nice. We have a tiny bit of little black, it's not lace, but like, decorative edge there. It's very stiff with some sparkly silver. We go down to obviously the dress is purple and the top is covered in various star constellations in white and gold. And there's also little APs written as you go down throughout the pattern, which is sneaky and I like it. So as you keep going down further, you hit more of the print. Again, we've got the moon with the pirate ship out on the open water and you get a more mix of purple colors down here, which is beautiful. And then it goes down to some various blues and dark greens. It kind of looks like black in the camera a little bit, I think, but it is not. And then at the very edge, we have the various astrology signs. I will be honest, I don't know a lot about astrology. I know I'm a Virgo and that's about it, but they're very cute and fit with the theme. And honestly, I was more excited about the pirate ship anyway, so that's fine. And then the very edge, we again have that black tr stiff trim with the silver sparklies. The back, we have some partial shirring with a corset backing. And I actually like, they've given us a very stiff edge for either side of the corsetting with the, um, the eyelets, I think that's very stiff and is gonna hold on. This dress, they are just laced through like literally some decorative lace. So I'll be honest, I sneezed in this once and some of them ripped a little bit further. So this is way sturdier and I'm very, very happy to see this. Um, and then we continue down and it just looks the same as the front. The inside is a really, really deep purple. We've got a double layer of lining at the bodice here, which is nice, a little yoke, and then the lining itself, which is good for some coverage up there. We have straps that have adjustable um, sizing here. They're currently on, it looks like the smallest, but you could go up two more sizes, which is really gonna help it fit multiple people, along with the shirring at the back. I love dresses that include size options, especially since I am not the perfect tiny uh, Lolita size sometimes. So that's great for me. And then the bottom, we have the, again, the deep purple lining and the outside of it is white, very shiny, which is cute as heck. It's definitely a shame that I don't have like a black petticoat. I mean, obviously you won't see my white one, but as like a just in case, I think the black would be cute, but whatever. It is one of the stupid tiny invisible zippers that are gonna be a huge pain to zip, but so be it. And uh, the nice thing is they do put hook and eye. I've got one in this and there's one in this dress, which really helps us get these stupid zipper clothes. So mwah, chef's kiss to the hook and eye when you've got this tiny annoying zipper. Now, do we have pockets? No, <laughs> no pockets in this dress, which is all right. It's definitely not something I like expect from my dresses, but it's a nice little perk if they happen to be there. But she is so cute. I'm super, super happy with this purchase. I love it in person as much as I did online. Even if it, again, is a bit of a deeper purple than I was expecting. It is still beautiful. And I think I'm gonna eventually make some lovely outfits with it. It will be a struggle much like with this dress because a lot of my wardrobe is very bright. I said I'd be more cohesive and uh, here we are. But because I bought some darker stuff for this dress, it'll probably help with this dress. So nice, nice. And now I think we've talked about this dress as much as we possibly can. I'm gonna try it on and we're gonna take a closer look at it. All right, here she is on and I have some thoughts. First up, some positives. Makes my waist look great. Mwah, chef's kiss, thank you for that. 
and the zipper gets up way easier than my other one because of all the additional stretch. It actually fits way better than my other Peter Pan Alice in the Pirates dress because I was, I was worried this one would be just as tight and uncomfortable, but I can breathe a little bit more. We didn't have to fight the zipper quite as much. That's great. And the print is beautiful. The color is beautiful. I love all of those things. I like that I can do a fun star coordinate with it because we all know I love star looks. Great. All phenomenal things. <sighs> the bodice is a little weird. And I think it's a little weird because I do have a larger chest. There's nothing I can do about it. My already sports bra. This is the way it is. It ends right here um, and my chest does not end right there. So I feel like this top part does sit a little weird and as well it just it isn't as flattering as a cut I think as some of the other ones I have or I don't know it might also be because the other ones are all just flat and that's more what I'm used to and I just kind of need to adjust. It doesn't look horrific. Don't get me wrong. I'm not standing here saying I look like a gremlin. I'm just definitely not super used to it. Another tiny thing because again I think it's the larger chest. The double layer of lining I was talking about kind of flips out a little bit. It might be hard to see. I'm going to step forward. Oh, now it's just dark. But anyways, you can see this lining. It creates a bit of a lip right here instead of laying completely flat like this. I kind of have to tuck it in. From far away you can't really tell, but I do worry if left untucked would it just kind of keep coming up higher and you would eventually see it. Makes me a little nervous. We'll have to test that out, I guess. <laughs> but overall, I am still very, very happy with this dress. I do wish I was a little more used to this. Again, I think I just need to wear it a bit and adjust because it is very different than everything else I have. I don't know. We'll get there. But the print is still gorgeous. Oh my God, I love the pirate shift. It is lovely. I like that it's got more silver than gold. I could wear gold accents with this like my Peter Pan dress, but I can also use silver, which I can't do with my Peter Pan because it's got that weird like peach dotted through. So I can finally use this. I can do other star things. Mwah. Love it. And I like that the pattern actually has, it's a kind of a tiny little like plaid almost within it. It's very subtle but it, I think, adds some depth and dimension to it and gives me more to look at. Overall, I am pleased with my Alice and the Pirates purchase, which, for the cost of this dress, I better be. <laughs> I'm gonna adjust. We're gonna see how I feel in a little bit after I've worn it and I have, you know, felt out the way I look in it. Again, love the waist. Love that this fits a little more comfortably than my other one. That's phenomenal. I just really need to deal with this area. There we go. That is my unboxing and review of my brand new Alice and the Pirates dress. I'm not going to say the name again because there's a 9,000% chance I will mess it up. So we're just going to call it my Peter Pan dress version 2. It's not actually Peter Pan, but it's irrelevant. That's what I'm reading it as. <laughs> Let me know what you think of the dress and the fit. Do you agree with me that it sits a little weird? Do you like the way it sits? My roommates all love it, so maybe it's just me. And hopefully there will be more Peter Pan or Peter Pan inspired dresses in my future. I would love to have a lot more of those in my wardrobe, maybe in some brighter colors so they're easier for me to coordinate, but you know what? It doesn't matter. We got there in the end. <laughs> okay, everybody, thank you so, so much for watching today, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!